expect to get to Mumbai, I think, at 7 in the morning, and by the time we get there, we'll have travelled 8,000 kilometres. Um, and I'm here in a very small coupe, I think, 6 by, Rizat, how big is it? 6 by 9, 6 by 9 feet. Um, and I'm with a group that I've been doing some focused work on creativity and climate change with. I've got Rizat here, Raghu, I've got Piyush, I've got Zainab and Satvinder. Um, and I'm going to ask each of them to name one thing that's really made an impact on them during the journey. I think what I've learned most important is that um, most people who brought about some amount of change uh, had the passion to do so. So I think uh, the key, key learning is that, you know, um, passion can propel you to do anything. Climate change, social change, anything in this world. I think it like also same. <laughs> gives you the time to think about things that you always wanted to think about because you're not worrying about food, you know, you're not worrying about traveling and it just gives you that kind of time to think about uh, issues. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't have to be in a very like organized manner. You don't sit and then, you know, think about it and try to think about it. You know, while just like walking through the train, you know, things just strike you. You know, uh, you, know you just realize something and then you learn something, then you unlearn something. And, and I think it's just, and it's also, I think it's, it's intellectually stimulating without being really pushy. And f for me especially, I've uh, started to realize so many things about myself and about so many things I felt strongly for. So, yeah. And what has happened so quickly, intellectual yeah. growth, the mental growth and everything, you know. Yeah, even I feel older and mature, even more mature. And, uh, and you know, suddenly in 18 days I've done something that I wouldn't even do in a year. And as she said, Ki, she had all kind of, kind of experience, you know. I really had everything. A, a very sadness, a deep sadness, and a very excited moments, very happy moments, and a very emotional moments, and everything. So it's been like a roller coaster rather than a <laughs> yeah. train. It's, it's not even a roller coaster, it's been like a luxury train ride, you know, it's like all, all happiness, all love. Some speed about, breaks, perhaps. But you are <laughs> dreaming that the next time we will be a uh, jet. Yeah, it would be a jet, of course, <laughs> but, but, but I think that we can like throw me out of the group now. <laughs> <laughs> He wants right. next time to be traveling in a more spacious, totally AC. But let's no, let's be clear, that. it's not a luxury it's train, it's luxury very, train. very basic. Very but basic. what you're talking about are the things that have been on offer here. Come to realize that, you know, how much really a small, passionate <laughs> team can achieve. You know, they've, they've been like, you know, not many people, you know, uh, to run a train of this size, to to like you know actually um, uh, look after 400 people almost, uh, you know just uh, you know it's not the size that matters, you know it's really that uh, the passion. But here you are living like a your own home. <laughs> Try <Troy. laughs> in those yeah. last those 18 so days, I didn't, like you I didn't, I didn't feel that I am in train. Never. You know, my, I have been traveling from Pune to my place, and it takes 24 to 36 hours. Okay, I really feel that yes, I am in train. I am in train. I am in train. But the last 18 years, I, miss, I didn't, I didn't have any. 18 days. <laughs> 18 days. <laughs> The last 18 days, I didn't have even the slightest idea that, that I'm, I'm traveling through the train. I think now it's now it's the weakest time to. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, the, what I would is the just main say thing that I have, you in the journey. Oh well, hold on. I'd just say that I have seen all of you make this train your home. That's happened over the course of 18 days, and uh, also it's been interesting for me because. Cape Farewell takes people out of their ordinary lives and puts them on a boat and that actually does bring up new thoughts, it allows people dream time. So I've been really interested to see how that works with a train and with 350 people, but it does work, it works with a train. The thing that's really made an impact, there have been 
things like the, the solar workshop in Telonia that was extraordinary for me. But the thing that I really take away is is this group of three hundred and fifty people who I think are completely remarkable. Um, and the way that you've worked on the train and you've made the project your own over the course of eighteen months. Really impressive. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you know, yeah, it's, 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 it's,